Well, this is what I finished and what I came up with. So, I was going to do both of them, both my tags for 76. Uh, you can see right there it says 1976, North Carolina. First in Freedom. Won't be long, I'll be 50. And the A being for Armstrong. It's pretty cool. Since I had house on it, I went ahead and done my dice into a full house. <laughs> thought that was pretty neat. Um, I hadn't clear coated it yet to make it shiny. That's why it's not shiny. Uh, but I got it to where you can literally just pull it out. It's in there and it, the, this tag's a little warped. And I'm having to do it one hand, so uh, it'll bind up on me trying to pull it out. And you guys, you can see, I just picked the shells up. There it goes. There it goes. See, there she is. Get a good close up on it. Give you time to see what I actually got in here. This is actually um, a hollow shell. You can see it actually tunnels back up in there. Can't remember what it was called. And I actually took these. These dice are purple with metal flake inside of them. And I actually hit them with a little bit of super glue. And I will clear coat them too. So if you look at it like this, you hit it like that. See, and so they go into the, the tag goes into these slots right here that one and then I got this one here I got it where it actually hooks right in right here so that's pretty neat it's pretty cool you can see how tall they are and I use the tag as a reference point so and since I was born in 1976 is why I got these I got another one that looks more like realistic like it was on the road I didn't even know they made these first in Freedom back in 76. I thought there's actually, I thought the new tags that we got like that was something new. So I just have it go cut down in the center right here. And then go down in that center right there. But when you put it in, you got to put it in even. Because like I said, this tag is warped. So where when I got it off eBay. And, um. Let's see if I can hold this with my chin, see if it'll work. Oh, 